dropshipping no longer works in 2024 is what I've seen get commented on a few of my recent posts. So today I'm here to see if it's true. Not only that, but I'm going to put myself in the shoes of a beginner as if I'm starting from scratch. I'm only giving myself a budget of $100, access to my phone and computer, which I think is possible for most of you guys watching. And I can't use my connections, following, or previous accounts to advertise. Basically dropping myself into the battlefield with no resources or support and hopefully making some money in the end. So for the next 30 days, I'll be ordering products, advertising, setting up my websites in hopes of getting rich online in 2024. As most of you guys know, the first step is finding a winning product. So I got my burner account pulled up right here and I've gone over this multiple times in past videos. So I'll just pop up on the screen right now how to set it up. But it's basically programmed to only show me videos that other dropshippers are posting of their products. So it's time to doom scroll for the next hour or so in hopes of finding a product in the early stages that not a lot of people are selling yet. We got one. So as I was scrolling after about 30 minutes and not getting much, my mind started to drift off and I remembered something I saw a few weeks ago. It was a snowball launcher or cannon that shoots them off automatically. Someone sold them last winter and I wasn't able to find the exact account I saw, but I found this other guy who's selling them right now and he's doing pretty well. He has 4,000 followers and has had a few videos get into the million, so I knew there was big potential. The one he's selling is this green one right here, but after spending some time on Amazon looking for it, I found something even better that nobody has sold yet. It's similar, but has a scope and a trigger to add to the visual wow factor. And I just moved up to Lake Tahoe for the snow season, so I think it's the perfect opportunity to take advantage of. So I wasted no time ordering one from Amazon, and the reason I do this is to one, get it faster because time is money, and two, because with the small budget we have, the plan is to go with TikTok organic advertising, which you guys will see all the strategies on that later in this video. My main idea is to spark controversy and really make this things go viral is not just to shoot snowballs with it, but to actually get creative and do what none of the other competition is doing. The first thing that came to my mind was to set up a fake snowball fight and secretly put rocks in the middle of the snowballs. On top of that, tap into the yellow snow jokes and do challenges such as hitting targets or seeing how far it goes. If just one of these can go viral, the viewers will then go to our website, which I'm about to create, and purchase where we then make money without spending a single cent on ads. So the product is set to show up on three days on Friday with another little bonus attachment I added, which I think will help us stand out even more from the competition and hopefully go viral. You guys will see it when it shows up, but for now, while we wait for the products to arrive, I need to get the website set up as we only have 30 days to do this. Time to get to work on this website for the next three days. Oh, and the total I spent so far is $39.66 for the product in the attachment. Watch me speed run this website. It's officially done now after about an hour and I beat that 60 minute timer I had set at the start. So let's go through it. So we got the little sale we're promoting at the top for 10% off and of course free shipping. Then we have our logo I cooked up on Canva really quick, which is a snowball, a blaster, and then our name. First photo right here, just blank background showing off the product. Then the next one showing the six levels of power. This one showing the bonus snowmakers that it comes with. And this one kind of just showing it in use. Named it the snowball blast original scoped blaster. And then we have some bold text right here, little description. And as you can see right here, it says insert gift. And the reason I have that is because I'm going to film those once the product arrives, which you guys will see. Basically two to three second videos that show how the product works put into gift form following all the text we have here. And I added some testimonials here with actual reviews that I got from Amazon. And one problem I saw is that since nobody has sold this, there are no reviews on AliExpress that we can get and put on our website. But that's really okay. I think these testimonials will do the trick. And the product is pretty simple, so it doesn't need any crazy reviews. Then we just got our name right here and then all our forms, which will help them get around our website. Sadly, we still have to wait two more days until the product arrives. So until then, I'm gonna create a TikTok account and an Instagram Reels account where we will be posting these videos and also brainstorm some ideas. So when it shows up, I will be ready to go because with 30 days, I don't wanna waste any time. And as you guys can see, it's actually snowing pretty hard outside. So we're gonna have plenty of content to make. See you guys when it shows up arrive. So let's go see what's inside. This thing better actually work. So let's open it. There it is. Let's go. So obviously you guys already knew what the product was, but the attachment I was talking about earlier is actually a laser pointer. And the idea is to put a beam or a laser on the blaster to make it look even better. And then of course also include it in their order or potentially as an upsell. Here's the scope, Take this out. And pretty small, but I think it will do the trick. Slide this thing on. So what I think you do is pull this back. Fire. Ooh. And it should launch them. So let's go back outside and see if it actually works. And we'll save this for later once I'm actually making videos. All right, guys. 
Let's see if this thing actually works. Dude, that nowhere. It's the next day, and I think I kind of got it figured out now. So now it's time to go film four GIFs and three TikTok videos. See you out there. So the night before today, after I tested it out and said it got nowhere, I started to stress out a little bit because it didn't work how I expected. So for I'm not even kidding, the next two hours, I took every piece apart and changed the bands to be tighter, everything you could imagine. And I actually got it to shoot harder, but the trigger and spring couldn't support it. So in the end, I basically reset it to how it was when I got it. But GIFs are finished. Need to use this track pod to actually film the TikTok, so I'll just update you guys when they're all finished. All through a film, but it's time for a little break before I edit. All right, it has been four days now since filming those first TikToks, and things haven't been great, but they also haven't been too bad. So starting off with TikTok, we have 12 videos posted now, and honestly, they are all stuck in the 200 view curse, which again, does not mean that I am shadow banned. It just means that I need to stay consistent and improve with every post. And I wanted to highlight this because this point right here is where I see most beginners quit. I mean, bro, I'm even a little bummed out that these haven't blown up yet, but I know since I've been doing this so long that it's just a part of the process. So if you guys are stuck in the low view range, do not stop posting because all it takes is one video to change everything. But remember how I said I'm going to be reposting these videos to Reels and YouTube Shorts? Well, that's actually where we've had some action. Coming into the analytics of the Snowball Blast channel, you can see all 12 of the videos posted here. But in the last four days, we've pulled in over 70,000 views and have 90 subscribers. Still no order yet as YouTube converts very poorly. But if I had to guess, I think this is where our first order will come from. And remember, Remember when I said, and secretly put rocks in the middle of the snowballs? Well, the top two videos are doing that exact thing. This one at 12K. Have I tried putting rocks in the snowball? Man, of course, that's my secret weapon. Just grab some snow, slip one in, and cover it up so nobody will find out. And fire away. Or if you don't want serious damage, take it back, scope them out, and give it a snipe. It's tracking. Headshot, baby. Or if you got cheated on and need revenge, sneak in and let loose on their window. But you didn't hear that from me. You see that headshot though? I've been getting pretty good with this thing. And then there's this one at 21K. Watch out, watch out, watch. Okay, I got you. But now let me explain how to never lose a snowball fight. It's this little magic I have under here that starts with an R and ends with O-C-K. You just have to secretly slip one in and grab your blaster. But wait, this is where the magic happens. You want to miss on purpose. Sneak behind them, toss it back in and send them home with an L, you're welcome. And that one was actually from the first day we filmed. So all we can do now is improve and stay consistent. Oh, and figure out Instagram reels because because we are stuck in the zero view glitch. But as always, since this isn't some one week challenge, the next club you guys watch will be when something interesting happens. There it finally is. And I'll refresh it so you know it's real one more time. Oh, oh, you want one more time again? But jokes aside, this actually feels so good, especially being so deep into the 200 view curse on TikTok, which is where I assume this order came from because I'm actually starting to gain some traction on there. And a quick interruption from future me because every time I post a video, you guys blow up the comments asking how I actually get the products to the customers after I get an order. So I wanna introduce you guys to AutoDS, which is one of the leaders and best price suppliers in 2024. But what's cool is unlike most suppliers, they don't just have their product marketplace in Shopify integration, but they have many other features such as a TikTok ad spy, print on demand so you can sell on TikTok shop, which is coming soon and so much more. But for an example, to get the snowball blaster to the customers, I just have to add it to my Shopify store here. And once I get an order, it'll show up in the orders tab right here, where again, with just a click, I can have it sourced and shipped to the customers. Thank you AutoDS, but now back to the video. So here's the account. And as you can see, we are up to 185 followers and have a decent amount of posts now. Starting from the bottom, you can see the very very slow start we had, but after about five days, we had this 6K, 8K, and 9K almost back to back to back, but none of them resulted in an order. I stayed consistent, kept posting, and then as you can see right there, the video I posted two days ago is sitting at 25,000 views. So let me show you. Try the rocks inside a snowball, but on a window. Well, I actually already have a few months ago. After getting cheated on, I snuck up to their house and unloaded on the window. But in your average snowball fight, my secret weapon is a mix of the forbidden yellow snow and rock but I don't know why nobody want to face me anymore. So there's two main reasons why I think this video is performing so well. One, starting with the storytelling and comment reply, which keeps all the viewers entertained. And number two, I think a big part of it is the quickness in clips. So much went down in this video and it was only like 15 seconds. Starting with the window, which of course was the main idea of it, then completely flipping the story and explaining the forbidden yellow snow and rocks inside the snowballs. And of course, shooting that at a snowman and then long range at the bear, which I think you guys could actually 
actually take as a lesson and learn from that. I so easily could have had just one long clip of me making a snowball, showing the blaster, and hitting the window. But I transformed that simple idea into a whole storyline and even added clips that didn't really belong there in the first place. People on TikTok are so quick to scroll, so having a bunch going on in your video is one of the best ways to keep them engaged. But as you guys could tell, the account isn't even at a thousand followers yet, so as always, I just had the website typed out there for people to go search themselves, which someone did, and that resulted in the order. I may sound way too hyped up about one $24 order, but that's just because I know what's to come in the near future. Once momentum builds, it's kind of like a snowball effect. Get it? Snowball? <laughs> so I'm sticking to the three videos a day to help us reach that 1,000 followers mark, where we could then put the link in the bio, and that's where the real money will start to come in. Let's keep it going. Ended up getting one more order last night with the video reaching 50,000 views and the account now at 440 followers. And one thing I noticed is that there are a ton of people viewing my profile, which means they are interested, but probably don't want to go out of their way and search up the website themselves. So 1k followers needs to happen ASAP. It happened, but it definitely wasn't ASAP. Although I actually saw the amount of visitors on the website spike up like crazy, along with the sales, I guess, because yesterday we ended up getting three orders. And the day before that, we got another order with another video reaching over 50,000 views, which is what drove the account to over a thousand followers. And I'm going to be fully transparent with you guys. I thought at this point in the 30 day challenge, we would have thousands of dollars in profit. Like I kind of usually do, but that's just the way it goes with some products. And I am more motivated than ever to get to that point eventually. And we got that link now. So it's time to go crazy. But first I'll show you the video that's doing well right now. I'd laugh if someone brought that to a snowball fight. You sure about that little bro? When I see you at my next snowball fight, I'll be sure to add in some of this yellow snow and a couple rocks. Safe to say you won't be laughing in your hospital bed. <laughs> This right here is just a classic example of a comment reply video, which myself, I love to use hate comments because it boosts the controversy and makes people pick a side while they're watching the video. The product is good or the product sucks, which you can actually see in the comments of this video. And another thing you guys may have noticed is it's a lot of the same clips just put into a different order. And honestly, I've been reusing a lot of the same clips because it doesn't really make sense for me to go out every day and try to headshot the snowman for like 20 to 30 minutes. So when there's something specific I need to film, I'll go outside and do that, such as breaking the window in the last video. But other than that, I just reuse a lot of the clips and build a storyline around them. 13 days left, so let's see what we can do. The past 13 days and last 13 days of this challenge have been fun to say the least, so let me show you all that has happened. And being honest, there was a point where I fell off my schedule of staying consistent and posting three videos a day. And I'm not one to make excuses, but it's because of my last YouTube video I posted where I made almost $20,000 in two days as a TikTok shop affiliate. My mind got so excited and wrapped up around that to where I almost forgot we had this challenge going. But luckily, I snapped back into it because although I didn't know it, big things were coming for the Snowball Blaster. During this time though, where I wasn't posting as much, I was still able to bring in some sales though. But it was super inconsistent where one day it'd be two orders, the next zero, and then the next one order. Simply from me having a growing catalog of posts that were still gaining some traction on YouTube, but mostly TikTok. But that all changed on February 3rd where I posted this video, which is now sitting at 767,000 views. And this one was actually a late bloomer and actually climbed to around 10,000 views within the first few days, but all the way until February 6, it flatlined around there. Until bang, that day, the 6, when I went to bed, the video was sitting at 90,000 views. This resulted in $245.88 in sales. And I started to get excited because this was the first time we had a video actually get views and actually convert at the same time. By the 11th, it seemed to slow down again at 248,000 views where I took this screenshot, but I guess TikTok was wasn't done with it. But before I tell you what happened next, let me actually show you this video I've been talking all about. The snowman from 60 feet away, if it's real, I got you. So my shoes are a size 12. So all I have to do is take 60 steps back. Then I just gotta scope this idiot out and fire away. Headshot baby. It then went up to 400k, 500k, and then eventually reaching that 767,000 views, which resulted in a ton of sales along the way, with the two biggest being yesterday at $287.88, and the day before that, $473.75. And the reason I think this video did so well is because it's just simple, entertaining content that shows off the product in a good light. I'm not shoving it in their face, trying to get them to buy or promoting some crazy sale, but just making a captivating video around my product that people 
will watch even if they don't want to buy it. So that's one side, but the other side to why I think it blew up was actually by accident. In a lot of my past videos, I like to preach how controversy is key to getting engagement on your videos and as a result, getting views. And when I'm making TikTok videos, I usually try to do this on purpose, but for this one, it actually happened by accident. And I think it was a big part to this one getting so many views. So a few seconds in, which some of you guys probably caught, I said my shoes were a size 12, which was a foot long. And I feel a little dumb now, but at the time I was blanking and I didn't realize that a size 12 doesn't mean 12 inches. And as you can see, all the comments that came from that, which was pretty funny to see, along with the normal, that was not 60 feet, that was 48 steps of people just getting upset. So I believe making a TikTok and not an ad, plus the added controversy is what made this video take off. And now before I reveal and add up all the sales and profit, I do want to go over what I think went right and what I think went wrong in this challenge. Because although we did some decent numbers, it wasn't some mega crazy success story like a lot of my videos have been. And although it's something I try to pride myself on, I think I messed up on the product research side. As I moved up here to the snow, even though I'm from San Diego where it doesn't get any snow, in my mind it felt like it was snowy everywhere. Which if you don't know where I'm going with this, you want to be selling products that literally anyone could buy. And I realized this when I started getting comments of people saying, bro, I live in Florida, I don't need this. Meaning half the people watching my videos don't even have a reason to buy it. I said in videos, oh, you could shoot rocks, but really nobody's going to do that. So looking back now, I feel like this was the biggest flaw with the product. But what I think did go well was how well this product actually lends itself to content. We didn't have that big multi-million view video, but at the same time, it didn't do too bad. Like I said at the start, there were so many challenges that I could do around this thing. And looking back now, those are the videos that did end up doing the best. Headshot the snowman, go 60 feet away, put rocks inside, and so on. One thing though I really wish I could have figured out was Instagram Reels because I feel like this content would do so well on there. But after five accounts, nothing was getting past zero views, so maybe it's my IP, maybe it's my phone, but once I figure it out, I'll be sure to let you guys know. But enough of the low energy, let's go through how much I actually made even with that all being true. So in total, we did $1,463.19 in sales in the first 30 days with this brand new product on a brand new account, only starting with a budget of $100. It's not what I expected or really wanted, but it's also not the worst depending on what angle you look at it from. But sales don't actually matter and it's all about the profit you take home. I was able to source them for only around $12 per unit shipped. So the total product cost came out to $702.38. $61.29 for Shopify transaction fees, only $1 for the Shopify subscription, and $39.66 for the products which I bought off Amazon, which brings our total profit to only $659.46. Not impressive or anything I would really brag about, but I think the lessons in this video through the content and product research still make it worth it for me to post. On top of that, I want to be someone who shows the real sides of dropshipping. Not every product is going to be a banger, and even after years of doing this, I'm still learning every day. So sure, maybe the haters will be back in the comments saying it doesn't actually work in 2024, but they just got to wait and see what I got coming out next. So you might as well subscribe to see that and I appreciate your time spent watching today.